fifty dollars for a BH in the face? What's a BH? What should we do next? I don't know. I don't know what any of these mean, really. Uh, kill quota. Oh no, I'll do resurrection. Whatever. Whoever voted for that one. Oh, too late. <laughs> oh, butthole in the face. Oh yeah, that's a great story. <laughs> oh my god. You did pay for a butthole on your face. I did. Man, I haven't gotten a butthole in my face that I had to pay for in so long. <laughs> Wait, do you get free buttholes in your face? I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, uh... Thing <laughs> in a relationship. Well, I wouldn't know that, so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh man, I'm out of drinks. I guess I'll just keep paying for buttholes in my face. Yeah. <laughs> you better. Oh my god, I love cake farts. <laughs> <laughs> cake farts. <laughs> I love that we're getting trolled by our friends. <laughs> <laughs> Is that fucking Helen Keller bullshit? <laughs> It does make sense. <laughs> I know, I've been recording this whole the logic thing. Behind it. <laughs> I've been recording this whole thing from my bed, so I totally understand. <laughs> We're on a team, Gene, so. Uh, okay. We gotta be a strategery. Oh, okay, you ran away from me, I'll follow you. <laughs> you're more sober than me, so you're now in charge. Dude, but I care less. <laughs> oh, it's such a hard decision. I don't have to get views. <laughs> oh, I don't have to either. Well, I should. I should care. I have a shotgun and I'm just sitting here. Oh, I died. I know. I know you did. <laughs> I resurrected you. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> I got brave. Like that little toaster. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna go to no, Mars next. I'm so terrible. <laughs> I mean, if you get a kill, you like we Brave would... Little Toaster, right? Damn it. Yeah, I liked Brave Little Toaster when I was a kid. Like... Wait, you don't still dig Brave Little Toaster? I haven't watched it since I was a kid. Why did I do the score of us to 10? Fuck. I got a kill. You were resurrected. Who was your favorite character in the uh, Brave Little Toaster? I liked the vacuum because he was an asshole, but he sucked everything up, so, you know, I liked it. I liked the air conditioner. I don't remember the air conditioner. I remember Blanky because Blanky was a baby, and I was like, why are you such a baby, you little bitch? <sighs> Dude, the air conditioner was fucking insane. I don't remember it at all. He's like, at the very start, he like, goes crazy and breaks. And then they're like, oh shit, we should get out of here. <laughs> That's fair. Alright, Gene, let's try no, not like to that, die this that time. That red-headed kid ain't coming back. <laughs> you realize Brave Little Toaster is just Toy Story 3, but way before it's... Er, wait. Which Brave Little Toaster did he go to college? <laughs> no, dude, they totally copied Toy Story. <laughs> It was way af way before Toy Story, right? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure. Oh, do you remember when they went to Mars? <laughs> yeah, dude. They, I think that was the second one. Like, they went to Mars pretty quickly. <laughs> they were like, Brave Little Toaster, regular story. Brave Little Toaster goes to Mars, episode two. Why did they even need to go to Mars? Because what the, the fuck kid did the left. Toaster need to do in Mars. 
I seriously don't remember the plot of that enough to answer your question. <laughs> Space toast. I feel like the kid worked on the Mars project, and that's why they went to Mars, but I feel like that's also incredibly wrong. And who keeps a busted ass toaster? Ah, fuck, I died again. <laughs> God damn it. For all those years for it to go to Mars. Who loves their toaster that much? I literally have no toaster right now. <laughs> Man, I haven't even asked my toaster what its name is. <laughs> Alright, if you had to name your toaster. Used it for years. <laughs> if you had to name your toaster, what's its name? I'm feeling. I don't, I have no... I'm feeling Ricardo. Ricardo? Yeah, totally Ricardo. Dude, you don't know my toaster at all. He is not a Ricardo. Oh, yeah? Not a Ricardo? Oh, I got fucking no. sniped. You want us to talk about Space Ghost Coast to Coast, Dylan? And or Lisa? <laughs> no. <laughs> I refuse. I like the Brack Show. Brack Show, <laughs> way better. See if I can find- oh, no, nope, we lost again. <laughs> what a surprise. I love Harvey Birdman. Harvey Birdman was amazing. <laughs> I love the Scooby-Doo episode where they get charged with possession of marijuana. Yep. I love the episode where the Jetsons show up. <laughs> and they're from the future, and I can't remember what the name <laughs> It's like, we're from the year 2000. Like two years before the actual episode. Yeah, <laughs> we're from the year 2000, and then he looks at the camera, it's 2002, and he's like, uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> You did not say Space Toast. It says Space Coast. So, oh, Space Toast Coast. No, it says Space Toast, man. <laughs> I'm too drunk, Gene. Shush. <laughs> space Toast to Toast. I mean, to be fair, that would be a great crossover. The Brave Little Toaster meets Space Ghost. Oh, we're playing another right. round? Shit, I need to piss so bad. Do you think the Brave Little Toaster had a French girlfriend and she was a French toaster? Do you think she was a French tickler? Dude, come on, it's a kid's show. Do you think there was a French press? <laughs> dude, you know what's a kid's show? Beauty and the Beast. And there was totally a French dude that wanted to fuck a fucking French duster. Dude, that movie also implies bestiality pretty oh, heavily. So heavily. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite. I mean, what? <laughs> and Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, that too. If a girl doesn't like you, just keep her in your castle. <laughs> She'll find a way. <laughs> exactly. Alright, I think I'm gonna get some kills this time. Probably not, but I think I am. Oh, nope, I died immediately. Bardia fucking murdered me. Very quickly. Dude, we're doing so terribly. <laughs> yeah, but we're also pretty drunk, so, like, competitive gameplay is a terrible idea right now. I'm not drunk at all. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty drunk, so competitive gameplay is a terrible idea right now. <laughs> at least this is way I'm more just... entertaining than us running across the map for, like, 45 minutes. Dude, that was your idea. <laughs> it was, and I'm sorry for it. <laughs> It's still gonna come out. I'm putting it on YouTube, but it's still gonna be like a three minute video of <laughs> me running, you getting hit by a train, and me going, well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, I tried. <laughs> I got a few shots in there. Do you ever wonder if maybe you have a tick, but no one's told you have a tick? I totally have ticks. I just, like, try not to think about them. You, yeah. can you can totally hear my tick. You try to pull stuff. him out by the head, too, or you know, <laughs> get stuck in there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Man, we probably are playing against racist eight-year-olds. We probably are. Also, I just dropped my controller because I'm doing so fucking terribly. <laughs> oh, I can see- oh, you disappeared. I'm trying to follow you on the cameras. Oh, there we go. Fucking the camera system after you die in this is so bad. 
They're in the corner of the room, dude. These oh. guys are just sitting by the fucking tool shed, <laughs> annihilating everyone. <laughs> by everyone, you oh, mean? Oh, I killed you one. Mean. You got a kill? Oh my god. Hell yeah. Um, the shotgun might be helpful. It's an assault shotgun, so hopefully we can assault them. We should find some better games to play sometime. Yeah, I deleted a bunch of games for this download because it said I didn't have enough room. But I totally uh, had enough room for sure. I'm just not a huge GTA fan. I love GTA. It's just, uh, I'm not as good as I feel like I am. Yeah. You think that applies to other areas in your life? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And dude, yet... I told you about the crippled dude that told me he went to a prostitute, right? Yes, you did. But I feel like you should tell this story again so everyone can hear it. Everyone, it's just Dylan. <laughs> so Dylan can totally hear it, and I'm, I might put it on YouTube. And Lisa. Yeah. Well, anyways, <laughs> I guess a, a dude with fucked up legs showed up in my house. And the first thing he said to me was that he had sex with a prostitute about a year ago. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> the girl who eats boogers? That's a good story. That's true. Well, we're about to I lose the this library, round, but... And I saw a girl- <laughs> Wait, this, these aren't interesting stories! <laughs> Can you paint a Literally better picture? The, des the description is the story! <laughs> I don't know. I, I was in the library, waiting to get picked up. And I looked over and there was a really attractive lady, and she picked her nose, <laughs> and she clearly ate it, and then she made eye contact with me, and I acted like I was looking at the lights above. <laughs> uh, I gave this uh, mission a light, even though I just liked that story, not the mission. <laughs> <laughs>